In the end, we find wound up with an aluminum five and a half inch, 0.090 thick piece of 6061 held together by two bolts that uh, with a little bit less than a half an inch uh, of space between them. We've stretched it a little bit and that's good because as you can see, this thing's on pretty tight now with that lower mount. It doesn't move very much. What do you think, Brian? Come take a look. I come around over there, Jack, and see. I like it. I like the way it looks. That's, uh, that, that's pretty nice. And that, uh, that motor's... Yeah, that's, that's the way it was when we took the engine out originally. So it that was, braces it up a little bit, huh? That's nice. Yep. Why don't we uh, put in that drive shaft now? Uh, I know you've got the wheel already removed right. on the other side and see if we can get it to line up that bracket and into our transmission. There we go, we'll do it. All righty. Okay, Brent, we've got the uh, drive shaft uh, stuck in there into the transmission and that little uh, bracket um, to our, our uh, uh, that isolation bracket bolted up. We've got it in. Um, it was uh, too ugly for video. Yeah, uh, some things are just better left un We're, we're going to leave that to your imagination. <laughs> we right. can't really shoot under there very good so you can see anything. Right. But there's those two bolts that go right into that bracket, getting those lined up and the bolts in, standing on your head underneath the car. Um, is uh, in the dark. Uh, it's an adventure. <laughs> and uh, all I can tell you is good luck with that. It's two bolts. There's nothing to show, really. And it took all the time. But it, it, <laughs> it takes a while. So we've got our drive shaft here. Now we're going to reassemble the wheel. That's essentially the, the reverse of the when we pulled the drive shaft. But right. Brian's going to walk you through a couple of the steps just uh, to close this off and get our wheel back on our right side drive shaft. Uh, take her away, B-Man. Show right. us uh, how this is done. So we've already got the, uh, the just the top of the strut is attached right now. And to get the drive shaft in, we've got to turn it a little bit. We're going to line it up. Get the splines aligned here. And there it comes. You can see our drive shaft's coming through here. We're going to go ahead and put the... Uh, Put that nut, axle nut on the end. I'm just going to get some things started. We've got to get our, uh, our lower control arm here on. We've got the, got the nuts for that. And we're just going to start to... Those are some 21 millimeters. Just going to go ahead and get those nuts cinched up to the on the ball joint to the lower control arm here. There. And if I turn that, I can see a little better, and now we're just going to cinch all this up. One on tight. The other one again, that was a 21 millimeter metric. Got a half inch here so we'll be able to put some nice torque on it. Go ahead and do this axle nut before we forget. And uh, whatever's the equivalent in metric of a one and a half. get our caliper back on here. As you may remember from the Brembo installment. Also just going to make sure that the studs are on tight and 
torque is going to really tighten these up. There's no thread locker or anything on these. These were adapters that we had to use from I think 14 millimeter, maybe 12. Yeah, I don't remember, 12 Jeff? To 14. Were they? Yeah, I think they were 14s. We had to do 12s for our wheel. We've got this uh, locating bolt here. Our uh, socket, our torque socket here. And we may have to refer again to the Brembo edition. The size. Pin that on there. Get our adapter on. We won't be putting that on yet. Just don't want to forget it. Get our brakes on. Caliper around the rotor. Except on days where it doesn't want to go on. Caliper bolts. And then one. And then the second one started. Sixteen millimeter. This is a BMW. Lots of sixteens and eighteens and torques and things. I guess no one wants anybody to take it apart. All right, we're spinning freely. Punch that in, make sure that this has a little safety here. It was punched in. We'll repunch it so it grabs that axle. There we go. Just one more little safety so that that bolt can't back off. Got a grommet here for our brake line. There's our brake line grommets that doesn't move around. So let's just review. So we've got our, we've got our rotor on. We don't have to worry about bleeding the system because it was already, already on. We didn't uh, disconnect it. Got our rotor, got our steering knuckle hooked back up. Got our uh, ball joint back to the lower control arm. Rotor is positioned. Studs are on there nice. So it looks like we are going to go ahead and put the wheel on and tighten that up. This wheel only goes on one way, but there's two ways it can try. And that never happens. So you got it right on the, the first time. Right. That's amazing. So I'll just proceed. And if you remember, we've got this tuner lugs and the uh, and little tuner wrench that fits inside. And it's, it's nice. It also gives you it's like a wheel lock, even though these tuner wrenches are kind of around, um, still gives you a nice secure feeling in there and these things will tighten up. Got 
four lugs here. All right, 13 sixteenths fits on it. And tighten those down. We'll give a final torque once the wheel's on the ground. It's kind of difficult to uh, 